Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Band of Brothers. It's episode 8 of season 1, The Last Patrol. I am carrying right on from episode 7 and uh, it was a heartbreaking one, that previous one. So I'm still a little shook from that. So, but I guess, you know, it's just all, all the more just to understand more and more. And I think it's not enough to like literally say, oh yeah history class ended so i just need to learn a little bit more about what is going to happen in this episode um as i keep saying and reiterating myself that i want to educate myself as much as possible about the events of this war and keep myself well aware and uh, you know everyone should know what has happened during the the this time so it's um it's my curiosity like bell that's going off on in my mind saying like i want to know what are, what's going to happen not just for the drama but uh by the drama i mean the acting side of things but to see what happens like you know to learn about the battalion to learn more about the easy company in general their battle tactics and uh, things like that so hence i am here in episode 8 and going ahead and um yeah that's the reason so if you're new to the channel welcome thank you so much for joining please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and let me know down in the comments what i should watch next but yeah let's dive right into episode 8 it's the last patrol um and it is band of brothers it's just a gut feeling but everybody had that feeling i believe i might be able to live through it take care of yourself that's so called the last patrol like just to have that feeling that it might just end like that's it this is it feb 9th 1945 so last episode was jan 2nd he's been gone a long time yeah yeah where is garnier you still your platoon sergeant yeah he lost a leg got hit yeah 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 bill got hit blew his whole leg off please not in front of malaki what happened to captain winters he's running the whole battalion yeah. now go captain Sears is the new one is this the company cp for easy yes sir as you were lieutenant jones looking for isn't that tom hanks son colin hanks all right Oh, that looks... oh yeah it is come on go on something fell paper there are three men here in this room that they think should be on the patrol well if i tell you you can't let on that you know your secret safe web no efron <laughs> clung and you <laughs> at least they're all laughing oh my god it's a different sound i try welcome yeah you can see jones is super new the others didn't even flinch at that Oh my god, Michael Fassbender. Has it been a long time since your last shower, Professor? Don't take it personally. They've just seen worse. I hope you don't have a have to, but I don't think that's the way of life anyway. That you are an officer. No, they want someone with experience. The guys they picked up plenty of that. Does he have an agenda? Uh. Give the kid a Hershey bar. <laughs> you gotta Look be shitting me. Oh, ah. George? Yeah, 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 yeah. You did good, huh? How you All feeling? Right. As long as you keep your hands off my ass, I'll be fine. Have a Hershey. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you guys are fucking Hershey you bar. Well, he got shot. He got shot. Yeah. I heard the crowds are finished. Yeah, well, right. just to make sure. They're feeling guilty. It took so long. He missed Bastone and all that. Me, all right, Webb, you come with me. Yeah. Sergeant, this Captain Spear is going to be where you're headed. Uh, same vicinity, yeah. All right, then I'll join you. God, their acting is so phenomenal. Just so naturally acting it. Oh, no, cigarettes, no, damn it. Hey, come on, come on. I got a wounded ass. Intelligence giving the information on the... Wounded ass. I haven't really done anything. 
except deliver mail and type morning reports. Absolutely. Thank you, Captain. It's got a point about Sergeant Malarkey. Yeah, a point. <laughs> uh, do you see any other officer here? That nod must be... We've identified targets. We plan fire for him. We hear these whistles, we open up. Sergeant Martin! Remember, it's about prisoners. Don't pop the first thing that moves. Clear? Yes, sir. That's very important, the objective. Don't pop the first thing that moves. I don't know which one, which sound is what. At this time, I'm just like... It's too close. Well, if you're adapting, you didn't flinch this time. Oh my God. I thought you've got to hit that at the back. Is that like an alarm signal thing? Where is your helmet there, babes? Oh, no helmet. Right, 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 right. Because something will shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. Jackson, look at the front. Okay. That's good. What did he just do? Take it easy, huh? It's okay. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. You're all right. Jackson! Jackson, we're not going to die. We're not going to die. I need you to hang on. Jackson! Isaac. <laughs> Eugene Jackson was 20 years old. He'd lied about his age when he joined the army at 16. His family, I'm sure, got a telegram from the War Department saying he died a hero on an important mission that would help win the war. In 
In fact, Eugene lost his life on a stretcher in a dank basement in Hagenau, crying out in agony while his friends looked on helplessly. He was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all but over. What are you doing, cop? You leave someone in the bank? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Maybe we should put him out of his misery. I can't listen to it anymore. I didn't realize they left, like, one prisoner there. But why these three prisoners? Did I miss the object? Like, I know they were supposed to take them. Did they know something or, like, have valuable information about their mission onwards? What we have here, boys. Hey, pal. Congratulations, Corbett. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you. Welcome back, sir. Yeah, it's Harry here. Congratulations. Thanks, Harry. Yeah, Harry, I, uh, I didn't expect to see you this soon. I figured you'd be nursing that scratch for another month or two. You miss me, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lieutenant Jones, regiment has seen fit to promote you to first lieutenant. Wow. Half up there. How far with that? First lieutenant. Congratulations. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, Webster. So a second patrol never happened. Word was ah. Captain Nixon wrote up a bogus report and regiment never got wise. As we pulled out of Hagenau, many of us in Easy Company felt that a corner had been turned and we all might make it home alive. Colonel Sink's a bit unhappy with the appearance of your uniform. He says it's not befitting to your rank. Is that Oak Leaves? Congratulations, Major. Major, damn. Oh, Webster. Here. I wondered if people back home would ever know what it cost the soldiers to win this war. You know, we are learning. The standard of living was on the rise. Racetracks and nightclubs were booming. You couldn't get a hotel room in Miami Beach, it was so crowded. How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror, agony, and bloodshed if they'd never been to places like Normandy, Bastogne, or Hagenau? By the time they left Hagenau, Easy Company's European campaign had taken from them from England to France, Holland, and Belgium. Wow. Soon they would be entering Germany. Oof. Quick yet effective, the last patrol. I, I love that these titles are exactly what the episode is. Just, you know, you imagine the last patrol that's how if anyone knows like how to write an essay or you know to just uh, say like describe this event in like 350 words or less or something like that and you call it the last patrol you explain it like this is a, an apt way of understanding from a, a viewer's perspective what exactly went through and the the narration of it and just you know that as i said like i think the acting is just becoming solid every episode because they are really they're really reenacting what exactly unfolded and i just think that it makes it so much easier to understand and the script is so well done that it's effective yet you learn so much and uh i I learned a lot about this, about Hagenau and, you know, it's so true at the end. Would people outside ever know the cost, what, the cost of war and what it was like to fight in Normandy, Bastogne and Hagenau? And it's, what an apt question. I can never answer that. I wasn't even there in that timeline. And, you know, to see it through these eyes, like to see it through the people who survived and you know, learning it from them. I completely agree with this question. We will never know. And uh, as we keep saying that we have to, of course, respect and remember everything that these veterans have given. 
and those who have already fought and lost their lives and you know and those who are able to tell these stories it's so much harder than you know than watching it on tv like for me i'm like freaking out just watching it imagine being over there so i uh, this and again it's all for a dramatized effect for the screens but being actually there oh my god like i can't imagine that i can never imagine that so it's 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 you know to understand like all these little things you would not when you think of like the first and second world war uh, we've never been taught all these little battles that happened and to see how much has gone into gaining that freedom is beyond beyond uh, shocking in so many ways like i am learning about this all for the first time i did, when i thought about the, first, the world war the second world war i just thought of it as an entire general about you know uh, about the germans and you know hitler and everything but like learning more about normandy about bastogne about uh, hagenau is it's new for me and it's so much more powerful to understand the length and intensity of being in the front line so i i appreciate them really taking out these these events and really putting it into a story that's worth telling and it is already worth telling and it's worth being on like for all of us to be on our knees and just say you guys are like literal gods and angels to us but at the same time to remember and uh, be in their shoes and feel at least an ounce of what it could have been that is so much important it's like it's so important but yeah um what uh, what an episode i, I really the the only pro point about jackson was so sad like he died because he was so i think in that moment he was so eager to to you know take the germans out and like you know to ambush them that you know he's still young he's still learning and he i get he got the uh, yeah he got the wrong end of that um uh, that bomb and it hit him like it it got costed his his life his own wounds um uh, that he inflicted costed him his life so that was really sad to watch but that is the cost of war that is one of the things that we know was a battle that was supposed to, or a war that was supposed to end supposed to have ended it was another cost so oh god i that the last sentence just like one line now they head for germany oh my god like unavoidable yet you have to we have to see what exactly is going to happen but thank you so much guys for watching if you're new to the channel welcome please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and let me know down in the comments what i should watch next until then i'll see you in the last two episodes we're coming to an end and we're gonna learn a lot more and we're gonna see what it took to take down and get us the freedom and yeah i i, I think i i will be a mess but uh, yeah as i said it's essential to learn so I'll see you guys in the next two episodes. Until then, take care and have a great day. Bye.